Hello and welcome everyone, a new episode of Score Sheet. Today we are going to have a bundle of sports and we are going to speak about our, about our champions in many sports. Many of them won African um, competitions and won African titles and many of them also qualified to Paris 2024 and we are going to speak uh, in detail about many competitions which took place here in Egypt and which gained the admiration and gratitude and appreciation from many international organizations and many top international um, executives. We are going to start with judo, but right after the short break. Welcome back. Let's start with judo and with the African Judo Championships, which took place for three days from the 25th to the 27th of April here in Egypt, with the participation of 27 countries coming from all over the Black Continent. And guess what? The Egyptians did not upset the crowds, did not upset the Egyptians, and they really did great. Egypt won the 2024 African Judo Championships. Egypt won three golds, two silver, and three uh, bronze. Also, uh, the uh, um, International Judo Federation Director uh, General Vlad Marinesco, who was here in Egypt, said, or I'm going to quote him, Congratulations to the Egyptian Judo Federation, its president and his team, the government who organized this great event, as well as the African Judo Union president and the board members of the organization who contributed to the stellar event that brought together almost 200 athletes from all over the black continent. The 2024 championship had particular importance for the participating nations since it was the last chance for the uh, uh, judokas to book seats in the summer Paris Olympic Games. The points for Egypt will have a significant impact on the list of qualifiers and we do have a number of uh, uh, judo players who qualified already to Paris 2024. We are going to know more details as uh, I do have my dear guest via phone, uh, Mrs. Azza Mubasher, a member of the uh, Egyptian and uh, Arab federations of judo. Thank you very much for being with us, Azza. Good evening, Nameen. Thank you so much for you. I was expecting you here in the studio, by the way. Sorry, I was traveling. I'm so sorry. It's Easter vacation, so I'm traveling with family, but I wouldn't make it. Any. I'm so uh, sorry. Next time, inshallah, and because we want to speak and in detail about this wonderful event, which took place, as I said, for three days in the last week of April and included more than 2,000 athletes coming from all over the black continent. But most important, for me at least, is uh, the um, Egyptian tally to have uh, three golds, two silver and three bronze. Before going into details, have you expected that we are going to collect all these medals? We expected this, yes, because we are always uh, uh, got used to it, okay? We, we are always uh, kings of the African uh, uh, continent mm -hmm. in judo. 
So we're expecting this, but the, but the thing is, we were not expecting the, um, you know, this, um, uh, you know, the the feelings about the people, okay, the the environment, the the um, the, the activeness, okay, mm. that we saw in this tournament or in this championship. It was on our land. And yeah. just like uh, it's not we we we're not we, we got it here like two to three times before, mm. and uh, uh, the the champions themselves they were playing with their all, with all their their strength and soul. Okay, mm. so it was you know the, the feeling it was different. The feeling is really different. Yep, we got to, yes we 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 are used to getting. Uh, um, all the medals and to be the king of this continent, but this to, uh, championship was really different about the, the feelings, like I told you, mm-hmm. the, 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 the ambiance, you know, that we saw, the, the champions were, uh, were playing with, yeah, and the, I want to win no matter what. Yeah. I, I'm going to turn back to uh, the competition and to uh, the uh, Egyptian stars who qualified already to uh, Paris 2024. But before going into this, I'd like you to, to speak with me a little bit about our female judo players. Because uh, since Hiba Rashid, we did not uh, feel that we can have a champion, a girl who can invade this sport in specific and move forward and clinch titles. No, we have. These days we have, actually. I don't want to, to forget names, but we have like Tasneem Rujdi, we have Noura, we have Safa, we have a lot of names. We have Aya Ihab, we have a lot of names. Mm. By the way, they are so fierce, they can compete, and um, they won the, the, the group, you know. Mm. Yes, we won, yeah, they took the first place in the group. Um, as they, uh, most probably, they will be champions like the next. Uh, championship, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, yes, we are preparing them. They are so uh, in good shape. They are preparing well. They are training every day and night. Mm. And we're gonna, we're gonna hear the names. Yes, like what you said, the Hebra Rashid, Sabah Ramadan, and and many others. Yeah. Uh, now, Abdurrahman Muhammad, 81 kilograms category. Ali yes, Hazen, 90. Yes. Muhammad Abu Raya, uh, yes. plus 100. Those already booked their tickets to Paris, true? Yeah, the two the, uh, that, uh, who booked their, their, their tickets already is, uh, are, sorry, uh, Yusri Sami and Abdurrahman. Okay. okay. Um, we're still not, uh, there are a lot, we tell you there's like championships, um, two champions, or a championship, I think. Um, or we have to wait until like the 29th mm. of June to be 100% sure who's going to travel uh, to join the Olympics in, uh, in Paris. Inshallah. You yes. still, yeah, you still mm. count your points until uh, the 29th of June. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is very late. Yes, you can. I mean, you it's, can, it's, can it's less than one month points. before the start of the competition of the Olympics. Yes, but, but, but the one who is already there, uh, or we have two tickets there, has booked, and it's there. Yes. That is Yusri Sami, yes. And Yusri Zengu. and? Yusri and? Zengu, Zengu, Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman. Yes. Um, uh, as far as, also, as I know that on the last day of the tournament, certificates of recognition were presented uh, to four um, uh, judokas, including the legend, Muhammad Rashwan. Who was yes. behind the idea? What? As far as I know, uh, in the last day of the competition or the tournament, certificates of recognition were presented to four judokas, including our legend, Muhammad Rashwan. Tell yes, me about for it. Sure. Muhammad Ali Rashwan is an icon. You cannot yep. miss. He's an icon for a clean play. Uh, he's an icon for not only for judo, but for, uh, for ethics and morals in sports in general. Mm-hmm. He's not, he's not presenting only judo, but uh, his presence is always reminding us that mm-hmm. you have to put ethics before winning. Yep. You have to be ethical, you have to be moral, you have to keep your ethics and moral on the first level before winning. And that's, it's all about Rashwan, that, that, that's the whole dilemma about Rashwan. Yeah. Definitely he's a champ. 
definitely he he he, uh, he reached uh, to to play at the final match in the Olympics. Mm. And he, he lost. No, I wanted to speak the, the about Japanese. this a little bit, uh, Azza, because I wanted to know the impression of Rashwan regarding the performance of our of our players. Have oh you talked God. with him so about uh, their he performance so and about the pieces of advice he would give to them? Yes, he told them you have to present. You have to, you are representing your country. You have to be moral. You have to be welcoming. You have to play uh, the, a clean play. Um, don't, don't. You are representing your country, so we have to present it in, in the best way. Yeah. Yes. These are his advices to the champions, I, along, I, I definitely along with the with the technical part, but the moral part was really uh, uh, um, dominating. Great, because you know it's very it's very weird, if I might call it this way, that in many uh, sports, not only judo, uh, by the way. We are great when it comes to the African level. And um, now uh, there are very advanced performances from our African rivals in all sports. And only it's an example that the final day saw vigorous duels in the individual competition, particularly between Egypt and Algeria. But unfortunately, this is not the case in the Olympics. When I can say that we are dominating not only in Africa, but also on the world or the Olympic levels. Let me tell you, if you don't have this info, that Yusri Sami, he got the third uh, place in the world record, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yusri Sami, the one who's uh, uh, joining, inshallah, uh, Paris uh, Olympics, he ranked third on a world championship mm -hmm. two to three months ago. So we are there on an international level. We're not only uh, um, uh, on the African level, we have champions leading the international level, like you, Sisemi, like what I said, and we're preparing many others, by the way. And these names you just mentioned, like Zengo, Abdurrahman Abdul Ghani, Ali Hazim, uh, Muhammad Abu Raya, uh, I don't want to miss uh, Tasneem, Noura, Aya, uh, Safa, all these, uh, Omar Widna, all these. They will be competing on an international competing level. Competing is great, but I want to know your vision. Do you think that we can expect a medal in the coming yes. Olympic Games in judo? Inshallah, inshallah. The federation, the Egyptian federation, is is doing its best. Okay, uh, we're all supporting by all means. Um, we're doing the best, by the way, and no one is keeping anything from helping this team. Everyone is trying to give by time, by uh, advice, by everything. We're trying to make them like uh, well prepared for this competition, like you said. And we're hoping, in, inshallah, they will, win, uh, they will win a medal, inshallah, inshallah. in the Olympics. One final question, Azza, because yes. now all the time we are speaking about sports, not only as talent and um, um, uh, intensified and extensive hours of training and hard work. All this is okay, and all this, of course, is found on the ground. But now sports, it's an industry and based on science. Yes. Let me know, and in brief, if you permit me, uh, about the preparations ahead of the Olympics. I mean, now each player... There are doctors, nutritionists. Definitely, into the definitely there, there <laughs> is a doctor. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'm listening. Dr. Magdi Sabag, definitely. Dr. Magdi Sabag is there all the time in the, in the, uh, with the champions. Okay. A psychologist is there as well. Nutritionist is there as well. We're keeping everything, by the way. We're, we're presenting every single support, like I told you. On a psychological level, there's a psycho psychologist who is preparing the, the players to be stable, so as not to be tense, so as not to be uh, uh, um, uh, agitated. To keep and to maintain their practice. mental this fitness because it's not at all less important than their physical fitness. Definitely. Because of this, Azza, I told you that I was expecting you because we do have a lot to speak about. Promise me that you are going to be my guest, inshallah, when you return back to Cairo. Inshallah, Promise? inshallah. Yes, yes, yes. I'm all yours, inshallah. But inshallah. like I told you, there's everything prepared for them. Inshallah, we're doing our best to uh, win a medal in the Olympics, inshallah. Inshallah. Happy Easter to you, dear, and congratulations once again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Uh, we are very much delighted to have with us by phone Azra Mubashir, a member of the Egyptian and Arab Judo Federations. And now to continue with our uh, good news or wonderful news to be accurate when it comes to Egyptians doing great on the African and international levels. Going to, il, to volleyball this time, Il Zamalik defended African title and earned club world a championship ticket for the very first time for um, such um, a, a team. And for uh, in, in, in general, the, uh, the girls of volleyball of Egypt. Egypt and Zamalek earned their right to compete at the December 2024 FIVP Volleyball Women's Club World Championship. They defended their Women's African Volleyball Club Championship title and picked up the second continental crown in the club's history after a dramatic five-set all Egyptian final against tournament host Al Ahli in Cairo, and this was on Saturday. Only uh, yesterday, uh, an Egyptian team has never participated in the Women's Club World Championships before. So this is a real achievement. Congratulations to the White Castle, and we hope that they are going to represent Egypt in the best way ever in the Club World Championship, and that this is going to be only a start for invading the um, international world of volleyball. To another African competition, and this time it's gymnastics. Um, Minister of Sports, Dr. Ashraf Subhi, congratulated our national team on winning the.